Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a little decorate with me for Easter. I wanna just add some pieces around the house just to bring in the beautiful holiday season. If you're new here, my name's Laura Nicholson. I love to do all things home decorating, cooking, cleaning, and DIYs. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and super fun here. And if you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay guys, let's jump into this beautiful day. The first thing I wanna do is decorate our new fireplace. If you guys haven't already seen that video, go check it out. But we ended up taking our old um, stone fireplace and dismantling it and putting up this beautiful one. And I'm so excited to decorate it. And I just kinda of wanna bring in a nice sweet vibe to the space, but not make it too cluttered. Before we head into the other room, I wanted to take a moment and thank today's sponsor, which is Babbel. You guys know I have used Babbel for probably about a year now, and I am learning French, Je prends en français, which is I am learning French in French because we went to France over the summer last year, and I hated the fact that I couldn't speak the language as well as I wanted to. I'm somewhat fluent in Spanish just because a lot of the people in our lives speak fluent Spanish here where we live, and so I already have that one down, but I wanted to learn French. So so I have been using Babbel. If you guys aren't familiar with Babbel, it's one of the top language learning apps in the world, and it has intuitive lessons that help you learn languages through real life conversations, which is awesome because we are planning to go back to France in the fall. I usually like to take about 20 minutes out of the day and either play games on my phone, or I like to do learning apps, or I like to do a reading app, just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. So today we're gonna be doing a little bit of Babbel, which is super fun. I would love to know in the comments down below what language you guys would like to learn if you're planning to learn that new language this year. If you do, I highly recommend checking out Babbel. They are giving us 60% off your subscription today by heading to the links in my description box down below. Again, I absolutely love using Babbel. It's a great way to learn how to speak a different language, especially if you two are planning to travel this summer. I highly recommend downloading this app and learning today. Thank you again to Babbel for sponsoring today's video and providing such an amazing app to help me communicate with people from around the world. Okay guys, let's get decorating. I love how simple this room turned out. I was a little bit bummed because a lot of my Easter decor I lost when we moved. I'm sure it's around, but I can't seem to find most of it. So I had to go with what I could find. I really wanted to have that really pretty Easter garland I had from last year with the um, kind of grassy background, but can't find it anywhere. So I'm gonna go with a couple things that I could find and keep this room pretty simple as well. I wanted to add some really cute things to this mantle and just kind of bring in the spirit of Easter, but not go too over the top.
I found these really cute eggs at World Market. If you guys are looking for some older, more classic and nostalgic Easter decor, I highly recommend checking them out. The rest of this stuff, with exception of the Balsam Hill florals, I picked up at Home Goods. decided to change up the tablescape and add this really cute tree I got on Amazon and I have some little um, eggs that have little ribbons on them and I'm just gonna hang those just to create a different look in here and I'll take you guys on a tour I've already done a couple of videos on Easter Decorate With Me's, but I thought I would show you guys what the kitchen looks like, and then I'll take you guys on a little tour to show you how everything turned out. I have no doubt that I will continue to add to this collection, but I wanted to just share with you guys how it's looking for now, and I can't wait to share a lot more soon. I love how the front living room turned out. Chewy is still under the weather, so definitely say some prayers for him, but he is resting here on the couch, and I didn't really want to bother him, so I didn't put any blankets or pillows out, but I did add some cute little things in here, and it just reminds me so much of the old house. I'm loving watching this house come together. If you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss a thing.
Thank you so much for watching today's Decorate With Me. I am excited for Easter and I can't wait to share a little bit more with you guys. You can also head over to my Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson and I share a whole lot more over there. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.